Hi, my name is Deacon Jim, and this is St. Bernadette in South Los Angeles. Today is Saturday, August 17th, and we're on the vigil of a Sunday, but we're celebrating daily Mass today. So with that, let us begin as we always begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy, and let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, what is the meaning of this proverb? that you recite in the land of Israel. Fathers have eaten green grapes, thus their children's teeth are on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, I swear that there shall no longer be anyone among you who will repeat this proverb in Israel. For all, lives are, all lives are mine, all lives are mine. The life of the Father is like the life of the Son, both are mine. Only the one who sins shall die. If a man is virtuous, if he does what is right and just, if he does not eat on the mountains nor raise his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, if he does not defile his neighbor's wife nor have relations with a woman in her menstrual period, if he oppresses no one, gives back the pledge received for a debt, commits no robbery, if he gives food to the hungry and clothes the naked, if he does not lend at interest nor um, exact usury, if he holds off from evil doing, judges fairly between a man and his opponent, if he lives by my statutes and is careful to observe my ordinances, this man is virtuous. He shall surely live, says the Lord God. But if he begets a son who is a thief, a murderer, or lends in interest and exact usury, this son certainly shall not live. Because he practiced all these abominations, he shall surely die. His death shall be his own fault. Therefore, I will judge you, house of Israel, each one according to his ways, says the Lord God. Turn and be converted from all your crimes, that they may be no cause of guilt for you. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in death of anyone who dies, says the Lord God. Return and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm today is create a clean heart in me, O Lord. Create a clean heart in me, O Lord. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. 
I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we have a very short Gospel, but a very power-packed one, right? So, but let's talk about Ezekiel for a minute. God says, if a man is virtuous, he shall surely live. But then God continues, and he says... Make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Now, the psalmist, this is why we read these things together, responds with a reversal of roles. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. The gospel offers us a resolution to the seeming conflict. Jesus says, let the children come to me and do not prevent them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. So, to create for ourselves a new heart and a new spirit, we must make a decision. We have to make a decision to come to the Lord trustingly as what? Children. As God's children. You know, that's one of the problems we have with children, right? They're trusting. We always are trying to say, don't do that. Don't go to that person. Don't do this. We're always trying to make them fearful. We're trying to make them cautious. You know, we, we try to kind of breed that trust out of them a little bit. Train, I shouldn't say breed, train it out of them. But by coming to the Lord in the sacraments and the whole life of the church, we will be renewed, my brothers and sisters, and we will be granted salvation from the hand of God himself. It is like... It's like vines. It's like vines planted in different soils. If a vine remains in bad soil, well, the fruit shall surely wither, and the plant will die. Yet, if it is transplanted into fertile soil, and we've all been there, right? We've had to move plants around sometimes because they weren't in a good spot. The plant itself does not cause the transformation. It's only the nutrients given in the soil that can do that. Likewise, the more we transplant ourselves into the soil of the church, yes, the soil of the scripture, the soil of the sacraments, the more that we do those things, my brothers and sisters, then, then, salvific life will burst forth in us, and it will come by the grace of God. Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God in the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely with these common petitions. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Jose, for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be blessed with the zeal and courage to proclaim the values and the obligations of our holy religion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders and representatives on the national and local levels, that their laws and their lives be an inspiration to all citizens, 
by reflecting right reason and divine revelation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth in particular, that they be given the encouragement and the guidance they need to resist the immoral and sinful presence of our current pagan culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the needy, the aged, and the lonely, that they be consoled spiritually by the gifts of grace and also receive care, aid, and loving concern from relatives, friends, and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died recently, that they may speedily attain the blessedness of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions we hold in the silence of our own hearts, for these intentions and those entered into our prayer and petition book, that they may be received and answered by our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in particular today for our political leaders, that they be of service of their own people, working for integral human development and for the common good, especially caring for the poor and those who have lost their jobs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And with that, my brothers and sisters, let us come together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen, amen, and amen. Complete, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Have a very blessed day, a very blessed weekend. We'll see you hopefully in Mass this weekend. And if not, we'll see you back here for another Liturgy of the Word. Amen, amen, and amen. We'll see you then.